Hey guys, this is Andre from Alpha Neighbor. Hope you're all doing well. So I came across this article on New York Times website today, uh, How to Retire in Your 30s with 1 Million in the Bank, written by Stephen Kuritz uh, on September 1st, 2018. So I thought this article was very interesting and I'd like to share it with you guys because this is pretty much what we've been saying on this channel throughout throughout this time, synthesized in a simple and straightforward way and also written by someone who is somewhat famous so maybe if you don't believe what I'm saying you know there are other people who say the same thing so maybe uh, this article will give you a different perspective for what it means to become financially independent. Please take a minute to read this disclaimer and if you agree with all the terms and conditions, let's go. So in this video, we will summarize the New York Times article. Uh, first, uh, we'll talk about the living examples the author used uh, about people who retired early uh, in their 30s or 40s with some amount of money in the bank investments and then they decided to live a frugal life instead of working a lot like uh, 10 12 hours a day in exchange for the, the salary so their only income came from uh, their their investments right uh, so we have four different examples about people who follow this uh, lifestyle and what happened to them and where they are from and some details about their lives and then we'll talk about uh, this movement called FIRE which is an acronym for uh, Financial Independence uh, Retire Early which is pretty much what these people have done so let's start with Carl Jensen he had a coding job, he got 110k a year but he was complaining that it was highly stressful uh, he and his wife decided to start saving money over a period of five years. Uh, after this time, their net worth was around 1.2 million and then they decided to retire. So he retired at the age of 43. They are a family of four and after retirement, they live on 40k a year totally generated from their investments. So it's uh, dividends and interest. Carl Jensen's family uh, chose to live below their means. They exchanged this high income for more time with uh, their children, for more time for themselves, for their hobbies, for traveling. Uh, so Carl says that it was weird at first having so much free time and he actually beat his mom to retirement he was able to retire earlier than her one year in he said that he enjoys spending all this free time raising his daughters taking them to parks and to the movie theater and you know since he doesn't have to work he can choose to go on a thursday to the movies because the ticket is cheaper Next example, Jason Long. He was a pharmacist, he had a 150k a year salary, but he was also complaining that the work was so stressful because a lot of people were short on money and they would always complain about the medicine's prices for the pharmacists. And Jason was not happy at all about all that. So at this point in time, he and his wife had a paid for house, so they didn't have to pay rent. And they also had to gather around 1 million in an investment portfolio. So he just decided to retire at 38. And at first, just like Carl, our first example, he felt kind of weird about the, all this free time and guilty because he didn't have to work. Nowadays, he's spending his time reading, exercising, playing video games, watching movies, spending time with his wife and family and he's not as stressed and he can take care of his health so retiring at 38 is paying off really well for him next example christy chen and bryce leung uh, they both have it jobs and came from good education good universities 
uh, so they both complain about this highly stressing job they didn't have time for anything they didn't have time to have fun to travel uh, to go to restaurants although they had all this money their main goal was to buy a house in uh, Canada but the house prices you know the real estate market were, was always going up so every year they had to work more and this goal was never reached they ne were never able to buy a house because the price always went up so at some point in time they just decided to give up the goal of buying a house and invested their money in i don't know bonds or stocks and they quit their jobs and decided to travel around the world uh, on their early 30s which sounds pretty cool to me and finally our last example uh, Scott and Taylor Rickens Scott was 35 and Taylor was 33 and they had an infant daughter uh, the salary combined was around 160k a year so they spent 3k a month on rent they lived in an expensive neighborhood in California so they did these calculations about how long uh, it would take for them to retire under their current lifestyle and after they saw the results they decided to move to a cheaper neighborhood if they didn't move to a cheaper neighborhood and cut some expenses like going out and have dinner in restaurants on uh, driving the BMW they would only be able to retire on their current lifestyle uh, around 90 years old so they decided to cut all these expenses and move to a cheaper place and after the calculations they would be able to retire in 10 years and according to Scott it was worth it because you are gaining control of your time uh, retiring doesn't mean that you don't do anything with your life anymore you know you just stay at home watching TV no you're just retiring from mandatory labor so by doing that you are free you know you have all your time for yourself and you can choose how you spend it if you want to spend with your children if you want to spend traveling if you want to spend studying something you like or doing something you like that's up to you because you don't have to wake up every day to work anymore you know you are free for the money you don't need a salary so what do all those examples have in common it's the concept of fire fire is an acronym for financial independence retire early it's also some kind of movement there are a lot of adapts to it basically fire is about you know financial independence so it means that you don't need a salary to live you don't need to work for a salary and you can generate all the income you need for all your expenses from your investments so the main principle is hacking finances you see a lot of discussion about this on you know forums on reddit on some people's blogs and uh, all these people say that their ultimate goal is to reach 70 percent savings so they want to be able to save 70 percent of their salary and this is a really ambitious goal, you know. Uh, many people are okay saving a 10%. Uh, some people are not even able to save that. I believe that 50% is uh, already pretty high. And people who want to save 70% of their salary need really good planning. So once you are used to this uh, frugal lifestyle, no, you don't need that much money. You don't want to keep up with the Joneses. You don't want to buy things just because other people are buying and once you have all that in mind you'll be able to save a lot of your salary so originally this fire movement came up in a book called your money or your life written by uh, vicky robin in 1992. Uh, the initial goal of this whole movement was to lower consumption rates you know and save the planet because a lot of people were buying a lot of things and then you have to uh, use all those natural resources to produce and sell these things so by lowering consumption by making people uh, believe and understand that they don't really need to buy that much things you know buy all these clothes buy all this food or whatever uh, they can live without all of this when people realize that uh, there would be less consumption and, and there would be less need for natural resources and this and all that would 
and in helping creating a healthier environment for you know the next generations uh, so the adepts of the fire movement are mostly millennials uh, people born from 1986 to 1994 uh, they are from the tech sector and enjoy numbers, they enjoy interest rates and they enjoy ROIs. So the whole initial idea about saving the planet is not that relevant anymore. The fire adapts for nowadays are mostly focused on uh, using their time well. You know, they don't want to spend their time working for someone else. They don't want to spend their youth working, they want to enjoy life and have fun. And they know that financial independence is one of the best ways to do that. And many fire adepts like to blog about their experiences because you know they are millennials, they are in the tech sector. So they are all about you know, writing blogs about what they are doing to save money and what are their goals and what are they going to do uh, in the future and why did they decide you know, to retire early in the first place. So if you go to the New York Times article, you can find the link in the video description. You see that all these people I mentioned in the examples, and, you know, all these couples that uh, quit their jobs and decided you know, to either move to a cheaper neighborhood or to travel the world and give up the dream of buying a house or start to save more money. They all have their own personal blogs and you can read about what they are doing if you want. So just check in the video description later. And that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are interested in knowing more about the fire movement, I'd recommend that you go to its uh, Reddit page. You know, just Google Reddit, fire, uh, financial independence, and you'll probably find it in the first uh, result. So just follow this link and read the threads. And you'll see that a lot of people are actually trying to uh, retire early and they are trying to have this financial education about savings, focus on savings, and they don't want to uh, just buy things they don't need. If you have any questions or if you have any advice for the other people who may watch this video and wonder if they can also uh, be an adept of the fire movement and if they can also uh, reach financial independence, please uh, let us know in the comments. But thank you very much for your time and have a nice day. See you guys later.